Jesus has risen from the dead. He showed himself to many people, and, of course, to his disciples. Jesus told them, Do not be afraid. Go and take word to my brethren to leave for Galilee, and there they will see me. So Peter and the disciples went to Galilee, where Peter first met the Lord Jesus Christ. So many things had changed since their first meeting, and now Peter is back home. One late afternoon, Peter and six other disciples met on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will also come with you. They went out and got into the boat, and that night they caught nothing. Think about this. Peter was back home. And, of course, he went back to work. What was his work? Fishing. Peter was born and raised by his father to be a fisherman and catch fish. But hadn't things changed? Jesus told Peter, From now on you will be catching men. It was not too long before that Peter, in fear of his life, had denied even knowing Jesus. Peter must have been discouraged that morning as he rowed back to shore. He could not even catch any fish. There on the beach was a lone figure waiting for the men. Who do you think it was? Yes, Jesus. The good news is that our Lord Jesus Christ wants to meet with us even when we are tired and discouraged like Peter. Jesus had not given up on Peter because he loved Peter. Jesus loves you, too. So when you're discouraged, when you're tired, draw close to our Lord Jesus Christ, because He is waiting for you. It was a long night for Peter and the other disciples who rowed the fishing boat back to shore. But when the day was now breaking, Jesus stood on the beach. Yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. So Jesus said to them, Children, you do not have any fish, do you? They answered him, No. And he said to them, Cast the net on the right-hand side of the boat, and you will find a catch. So they cast, and then they were not able to haul it in because of the great number of fish. Think about this. Imagine your life is like going fishing out on a lake. Just like Peter, you're trying to catch something. Maybe you're trying to catch good grades in school, but you can't seem to make the grade. Maybe you're trying to be the very best in a game of sports or on the computer, but you can't seem to improve your skills. Maybe you're trying to please someone, hoping they'll become your best friend, but you cannot attract their attention. We're all trying to catch something. Peter was trying to catch fish, and he tried all night. Then in the morning, Peter took his eyes off the water and looked to our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus told Peter where to find the fish. It really helped Peter to get directions from God. With all the things you try to catch in your life, how often do you turn your eyes toward our Lord Jesus Christ? How often do you ask for His help in prayer? How often do you listen carefully for His direction? The good news is our Lord Jesus is waiting patiently for us to come to Him for help. Therefore that disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. So when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put his outer garment on, for he was stripped for work, and threw himself into the sea. 
But the other disciples came in the little boat, for they were not far from the land, about one hundred yards away, dragging the net full of fish. So when they got out on the land, they saw a charcoal fire already laid and fish placed on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish which you have now caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to land full of large fish, a hundred and fifty-three. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Think about this. The morning was chilly, and Jesus has the warm fire ready and the meal on the way. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is God. Yet he tenderly meets us and serves us at our level. Even now Jesus could reveal himself in his heavenly splendor so overwhelming that the men could not look at him. Yet Jesus does not want to frighten them. Instead, our Lord wants to draw close to talk and encourage them. The good news is the Lord Jesus Christ wants to talk with you. In the chill of your next morning, imagine Jesus has prepared a fire to warm you and a meal to refresh you, and he wants to come close and talk. Do not hurry off into the day, but take the time to meet with Jesus in prayer. Warm up in his presence and get the nourishment only He can provide. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. None of the disciples ventured to question him, Who are you? Knowing that it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and the fish likewise. This is now the third time that Jesus was manifested to the disciples, after he was raised from the dead. So when they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my lambs. He said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Shepherd my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. Think about this. Jesus questions Peter concerning how much he loves him. Each time Jesus asked Peter, Do you love me? Peter said yes. Then right away Jesus asked Peter to take care of his sheep. Jesus is calling the people who love him as their Lord and Savior sheep. Jesus, our good shepherd, is going to heaven, and three times Jesus lets Peter know how important it is to take care of his sheep, the Christians. In the same way, if you love Jesus, then you show that love by helping and taking care of others. The good news is, our Lord Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd, loves us very much and wants us to love one another by serving one another just as he served us. Jesus said, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this all men will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Jesus questions Peter concerning how much he loves him. Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. 
Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to gird yourself and walk wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will gird you and bring you where you do not wish to go. Now this he said, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he said to him, Follow me. Think about this. Peter was correct when he said to Jesus, You know all things. The Lord Jesus Christ knows how much we love him and what our future will be like. Jesus reminded Peter that when he was young, he could walk wherever he wanted to. How great it is to be young and have the freedom to do as you please. Jesus said, Follow me. Even today, Jesus is calling all of us to follow him. It is not always to fun and playful places. And as we continue following him, we may have problems and struggles. Even in difficult times, continue to read your Bible and follow Jesus. And then, no matter what happens, you will bring glory to God in your life. And that is a very important part of the good news.